about a day ago, I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys if I should compare uh, the two Spirit 321s from Gemini Jets and NG models. And most of you guys voted overwhelmingly yes to do it. So, here it is. The comparison between the Spirit Airlines A321 by NG models and the Spirit A321 by Gemini Jets. So, let's get this comparison video rolling. First, let's start with the boxes. Now, for this one, I can immediately tell you that it goes to NG Models. The reason why I'm saying this is because NG Models makes every single one of their boxes look different. And that's something that I like about them because it just adds more collectability to you getting the model. Like with Gemini Jets, this is unacceptable. I'm sorry, Gemini. You guys make some really good models, but these models su are supposed to be highly collectible. And they are in terms of the actual model. But in terms of the boxes that they come in, they're very bland. Because every, almost every single one of Gemini Jets' boxes look like this or, in, or are in some form of this. And that's something that I don't like about them because it kind of just makes it a little bit bland after you start collecting models uh after you collect um most gemini just models it just starts to become bland over time kind of like me because this is starting to get unacceptable unacceptable personally in my mind because this the box doesn't isn't highly collectible in my mind and then it's in terms of how the box is shipped this box shipped broken and damaged because of this cardboard thing. Now, I don't think that uh, NG models need to add this cardboard thing on top of the plastic inside of the box. As the plastic is what houses the model and keeps it safe. So I just think that um, NG models need to improve on this in terms of their A321s because you can see that the box is damaged and squished because they tried to fit this inside of the box. With Gemini Jets, however, things are different. Gemini Jets packages their boxes very nicely with the models. You have um, this plastic on top of it and in between the model on top and on bottom of the model. And you add this flap, and they add the flap to the model, which honestly makes the model look a little bit more nicer and adds a little bit more collectability, which makes up for the blandness of the box. Now let's move on to the models. In terms of models, I have to say that Gemini Jets takes the cake, because when my NG Spirit 321 arrived, the wing was loose and is still loose. And something that I've noticed with all NG models is that for some reason, this will focus. This will focus. The engines are feel like they're made of rubber and are wiggly. So not only did it come loose and the engines are wiggly, but there's just not a lot of detail on the model compared to the Gemini Jets one. Like, all it shows is the antennas, and on the bottom, nothing much. And compare that to Gemini Jets, which has firm wings, the engines are f sturdy and do not move, and there's a Wi-Fi hub, which just further makes the model look more realistic. So I have to say that in terms of boxes, NG takes the cake, and in terms of models, Gemini takes the cake. Now don't get me wrong, NG Models is a great company and they've produced a lot of awesome models like the New York Herd here, but some models NG just has trouble with and the Spirit AC21 is one of those models. The box is good, however the model, the main part, isn't. And that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos, and comment down below what you thought. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, goodbye.